after you get it to where it's about 1500 degrees you pull it out and you just let it air cool it normalizes it okay this is how you heat treat 1095 you want the temperature to be between 1475 and 1490 that's this is a propane forge so you got to get good at working your oxygen you turn the close the oxygen when you want it to cool down open the oxygen when you want it to heat up it's a little touchy but you can keep it within 10 degrees all right the next thing you want to do you want to have a knife clean with all no scratches sand it all up all right and you're gonna have to get parks 50 um don't even mess around get the parks 50 canola oil ain't gonna do it if you want to get maximum performance out of 1095 get parks 50 a k-type thermal couple and uh you're gonna have to let it soak for about i let mine soak for 10 minutes now and uh kept it within 10 degrees if you don't have this set up and you're trying to heat treat it with a propane forge forget about it you'll never get maximum hardness now i have a bunch of refractory cement on here because i want to get a hamone line but i got to get it out of here and in that oil within a second it's got to cool down a thousand degrees in a second this stuff kind of sucks to uh, heat treat um in a lot of ways i don't even think it's worth the hassle when you got like stuff like 1084 you can't even tell the difference some people say 1084 is even tougher so um i don't know it's popular stuff though get a nice home online and uh it worked for the government it will work for me too every now and then i like to make a knife out of 1095 so i'm getting ready to go for the quench and i'm gonna try to get it out of here as quick as possible and there we go and you want to go front and back. I got the tip facing north, slicing motions. Um, yeah, and that's that. All right, got it in there pretty quick. We got a nice soak time, proper temperature. Clay held together because I put a little chicken wire on it. The chicken wire will keep it from flaking off on you. Okay, still steaming hot. Take that wire right off. Now this stuff will chip right out of there. Okay, what we're going to do now is a hardness test. This is a brand new chainsaw file. It's the aggressive teeth version. It'll bite, man. And uh, it's not even nothing back here oh yeah it'll dig a hole right through it but hip here now we normalized it three times even though it's from alpha knife supply and it comes pre-annealed still do it unless you're just you know i don't know stock removal you still should do it okay now what you want to do is you want to clean before you put it in the tempering you want to clean it <clears throat> get a nice exposed part of the edge that way you can see the colors and tempering um, get one of those little handheld devices that you know you shoot the laser and it tells you how hot something is and uh, that'll between that and seeing the colors you're not going to overheat it on tempering now you got a nice clean surface here's that chainsaw file again nothing it's hard not even a scratch nothing but you can't do it without the right setup you need temperature control at least de you know halfway decent temperature control 1095 probably get some probably get some shit for this but uh i like to put it in the freezer you know just let it cool down all the way will i get an extra rockwell hardness point out of that probably not Another good thing is handles are the most expensive part about making knives. Get to the point where you can make your own pressure pots, get an air compressor, 
Or you can get a really big pressure pot. <sighs> Makes them stabilize the wood, you know, all kinds of scales. That is how you can save some money. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Alumalite. Okay. Just double check it every now and then. We'll turn it up a little bit. These toaster ovens aren't exactly perfectly accurate, but you'll dial it in to where you'll get it. Two hours, 400 degrees, and do it twice. <laughs> 